have a really good pile, but just enough to be pretty. So, well, I think we can go ahead and, and begin. Um, I'm hopeful that people will be able to find us. I know it's whatever we do the share Shabbat, people still are confused about the time that it starts. So thank you for being with us. I hope others will join us. Um, and we'll begin with Hine Mato. Hine Mato Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Mato Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Mato Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad Hine Mato Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yada da 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 da
And you must build this world from love. Yada da 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 da. And if we build this world from love, yada da 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 da. Then God will build this world from love. Yada da 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 da. to take a deep breath and enter this sacred time of Shabbat together. We live in a very busy world, but we put aside one day every week for rest, and that day is Shabbat. Shabbat is the time that we come together to be with ourselves, our families, our friends, and with God. Let my prayer be to learn to pause, if only for this day, let me find peace on this day. Let me enter into a quiet world this day. God, we thank you for our special holy day. We thank you for helping us make our lives holy through this celebration of Shabbat. We now ask you to please rise if you are able for the Baruch Hu.
You may be seated. Followed her just as she had planned. 
voice and song she sang with praise and might. We just lived through a miracle. We're gonna dance tonight. And the wind and dancing with the timbrels followed Miriam as she sang her song. Sing a song to the one who be exalted. Miriam and the women dancing.
We'll ask those who are able to please rise. Adonai sefatai tiktach ufia gita ilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avoteinu v'imoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzach, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Yisara, Elohe Yirivka, Elohe Yirachel, Elohe Yileha, Ha'el Hagadol, Ha'gibor v'hanura, Er Elyon, Komer Chasadim Tovim, V'konei Hakol, V'zocher Chasei Avot v'imahot, who may be given a live name and a home, the Moshia Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Abraham, Vezra Tara, Atagi Bule Ulam Adonai, the Chaye Akul Hatara, the Hoshia, Rashi Baruch, Murida Gashem. Mechalkelachayim <laughs> Umido melach, melech vimi to mechaye, umat mi achishua, and a man at al chayotakol, baruchata adonai, mechaye akol. Atakadosh, vishim hakadosh, ukadoshim bohoyom yalalucha sela, baruchata adonai. You may be seated. We now take a moment for silent prayer and meditation. O say shalom bim ramav, Puya say shalom aleinu, Ve'al ko Yisrael, Ve'imru, Ve'imru, Amen. Ya say shalom, Ya say shalom, Shalom aleinu, Ve'al ko Yisrael, Yahase shalom, Yahase shalom, Shalom alenu vehalko Israel. Yahase shalom, Yahase shalom, Shalom alenu vehalko Israel. Yahase shalom, Yahase shalom. Shalom alenu vehalko Israel. Yahase shalom, Yahase shalom. Shalom alenu vehalko Israel. Best if I unmute myself. I wanted to um, share with you for a story tonight, a beautiful story about blessings that I found in this great little book called Blessings for Life's Journey, um, written by Rabbi Cheryl Lewert. I like to give attribution when it's there. Um, it was a, it's, a, it's a story that I think 
It just resonates no matter what time of year it is. So I share this one with you. The story says that once upon a time, a long time ago, there was an officer of the law, a newly minted graduate of the academy filled with pride, as you can imagine, in his crisp uniform of blue with brass buttons and gold epaulets. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Somebody can correct me. And ribbons for swordmanship. If truth be told, and truth should be told in a story, he was as pompous and full of himself as he could be. Arrogant, callous even, and with his new sword gleaming at his side, bold and cold as he could be as well. One day he was walking his beat and he heard a commotion in the alley. He ventured into the darkness and there in the distance, he saw a man in rags. Come forward, he commanded, come forward now. But the man in rags did not come forward. I'm an officer of the law and I command you to come forward. The man in rags still did not move. He shifted his weight from foot to foot and spoke. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Do with me, the officer of the law mocked. Do with me? You don't do with me, I do with you. I'm an officer of the court and I order you to come forward. Ah, said the man in rags, now I know what to do with you. And he spoke and said, as he drew his sword, now I know exactly what to do. And without another word, he moved to attack. The officer of the law drew his sword, of course, in defense. Stop that, he ordered. Put down your sword right now or someone is going to get hurt for no reason. But the man in rags did not stop. Stop, he said again, but to no avail. And as the man in rags thrust his sword forward, the officer of the law was forced to retreat just as it seemed that the man in rags would actually prevail over the officer, he suddenly lowered his guard and what the officer of the law had intended as a part as a parry became a thrust. His sword ran right through the man in rags. I didn't mean that, the officer of the law said. I didn't mean to hurt you. Why didn't you stop when I ordered you to? Why did you attack me? All the man in rags could say was, I'm leaving you. But as I do, I put upon you the curse of blessing. What do you mean? Asked the officer, now quite confused by all that had happened in that narrow alleyway. The curse of blessings means that every day you must say a new blessing, one you have never said before. On the day you do not say a new blessing, on that day you will die. The man in rags closed his eyes. The officer of the law looked around for help and no one was in sight. As he turned around, the man in rags had disappeared. He was gone. It must have been a dream, he felt, he, or a nightmare, he thought. I imagined the whole thing. The time was late in the afternoon and the sun was setting. And as much as the officer of the law tried to ignore his experience, he couldn't. It was sunset and the eve of every Jewish day of course, this is a Jewish story, so the day starts in the evening. And the officer of the law suddenly felt his body growing colder, and he knew for certain from the chill that his life was actually leaving him. In a panic, he uttered these words of blessing. Oh my God, thank you for creating such a beautiful sunset. At once, warmth and life flowed back into him. He realized with both shock and relief, the curse had been for real. The next morning, he did not delay. He woke with words of blessing. I bless the source that allowed me to wake up this morning. His life felt secure the entire day. The next morning, he blessed his ability to rise from his bed. The following day, he could try his shoes. He blessed that. Day after day, he found abilities he could bless, that he could go to the bathroom, that he had teeth to brush, that each finger of his hands still worked, that he had toes on his feet and hair on his head. He blessed his clothes, every garment. He blessed his house, the roof and the floor, his furniture, every table and chair. At last, he ran out of things to bless. So he began to bless relationships. He blessed his family and friends, fellow workers and those who worked for him. He blessed the mailman and the clerks, firefighters and school teachers, he was surprised to find they appreciated his blessings. His words had power. 
They drew family and friends closer to him. Word went out with this word went out that this was an unusual officer of the law, one who spreads blessings. Years passed, decades. The policemen had to go farther afield to find new sources of blessing. Scientists and their discoveries, buildings, councils, university buildings. As he traveled through the world, he became in awe of its balance and beauty and blessed that. He realized that the more he learned, the more he had to bless. His life was long and he had the opportunity to learn in every field. He passed the age of 100. Most of his friends were long gone. His time was relegated to searching for the purpose in his life and the one source from which all blessings flow. He had long since realized that he was not the source, but only the conduit, the channel. And even that realization was welcomed with a blessing that sustained him for yet another day. As he approached the age of 120, he decided that his life was long enough. Even Moses had not lived longer than that. So on his birthday, he decided to utter no new blessing and allow his life to come to an end. All that day, he recited old blessings and reviewed all the blessings of his life. As the sun was setting, a chill settled into his body. He did not resist it. In the twilight, a figure appeared, the man in rags. You, said the officer of the law, I have thought about you every day for a hundred years. I never meant to harm you. Please forgive me. You still don't understand, said the man in rags. You don't know who I am, do you? I'm the angel who was sent a hundred years ago to harvest your soul. But when I looked at you, so arrogant and proud, so pompous and full of yourself, there was nothing there to harvest. An empty uniform was all I saw. So I put upon you the curse of blessing. And now look what you have become. The officer of the law grasped in an is instant all that had happened and why. Overwhelmed, he said, Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shehechianu v'kimanu v'hegianu lazman hazeh. Now look what you've done, the man in rags said in frustration. A new blessing, the shehechianu. And the policeman and the man in rags looked at each other, neither knowing at this point what to do. I really loved this as a reminder about how blessings can sustain us and they can help us become happier and more grateful, more pleasant and more able to see the rest of the world. And so I really think it's a reminder that if we change our outlook, we can change our life. And, um, and for all of us on the Shabbat, it's my hope that we will bless something new and try to bless something new every day of our lives. We have so much to be appreciative of. Sorry. Like my husband who just brought me the chalaf. Mishibera chavotenu v'imotenu. Mishivarek v'yarapei etacholim. May the one who has blessed and kept our ancestors continue to bring blessing and healing to all who are in need of healing. We think, especially at this time, of Sharla Davis and Gates, Tyler Zeisloft, Pat Bloom, Ronald Epstein, James Hoffman, Robin Kent, Judith Perlman, uh, Lorna Condert, Rachel Magdalene, Jan Berman, Jerry Butler, Stephanie Noble, Gail Russick, Melinda Glovka, Mike Ammons, Helen Fine, Jeremy Wise, Paul Levine, Ed Bulin, Harvey Olson, Christine Wagner, Tracy Huddleston, Joe McKenna, Ellen Goodrich, Mark Romanofsky, Jerry McDonald, Richard Lieberman, Joel Pinsker, Marty Sacker, Sandy Sapphire, Laura Holtz. Here's what I found. Sorry. Laura Holtzinger Levin. Avraham ben Avraham Vasara, Bob and Gert Khan, Dave Bussey, Rohan Levine, Jay Bainbridge, Chelsea Smith, Shava Eta, Rory Freisler, and Deborah Seidel. Of course, we continue to name all of those who are in our heart as we sing the words of Misha Bayrach.
those who are able to please rise as we continue with the Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol l'atet g'idu l'aleotze b'reshit sh'lo asanu k'gehe ha'ratzot v'lo samanu k'mishpachot ha'adama sh'lo sam k'elkenu k'ahem v'gohor aleinu k'chol ha'monam v'anachnu k'orim u'mishpachavim u'modim l'ifne malach malachhe ha'mlachim ha'kadosh v'arechu v'neyamar v'haya Adonai the Melech al Kol Haaretz, Bayom Ahu, Bayom Ahu, Yad Unai Echad, Ushemo, Ushemo, Ushemo Echad. This time we think of those who we have lost who are no longer with us. We are thinking of those in our community as well. We are in a period of Aminut for Sam Lauber and Shloshim for, Mer for Margaret Robertson and Edith Flyer. We are observing the yard sites this week for Emma Ock, Betty Arkin, Minnie Nagel Bear, Mike Bondurant, Connie Braun, Harry Cohen, Lewis Cohen, Carl Cohen, Marvin Cooper, Rachel G. Kramer, Joseph P. Diamond, Jack Dorfman, Charles H. Fialco, Joseph Frank, Blanche Frank, Ruth Getz, Lois Gindy, Morris Gottlieb, Gail Patterson Gullinson, Harry Israel Jr., Jacob Jacobs, Esther Jacobs, Samuel J. Jaffa, Clara Klass, Robert Klug, Frida Leet, Gertrude Levinson, Miriam H. Margolis, Elaine Mayerson, Michael Noodleman, Sally Pacernick, Solomon Rao, Gerald Rubin, or Gerald Rubin, Eleanor Seidel, Byron Shatsley, Theodore or Ted Schwartz, Leah Shapiro, Fanny I. Silverman, Herman F. Slutsky, Ben L. Snyderman, Leo A. Stodder, Vesta Frank Tarski, Beatrice Kotler Weinberg, Herta Wells, Sophia Wolf, and of course, all those who we name now in our hearts and perhaps names that we pronounce differently that you want to say aloud. We consider them all and remember that their lives have been a blessing. I invite those who are mourning to please rise first if you are able, and all of us will join you as we rise together for the words of Kaddish. Yit gadal vit kadash shanei rabah, ve'alma divra chirutei v'amlich machutei, v'chayechon v'yomechon 
Ufaye de Kol Beit Israel, Bagala Uvisman Kari Fibru Amen. Yehesh me Rava Mevarach, Le Alam Ulame Amaya, Eat Barach, Vishtabach, Vit Bar, Vit Roman, Vit Nase, Vit Hadar, Vit Ale, Vit Halal, Shme de Kudja, Brifu. The Ela min kol birchata veshirata, tush bechata venechemata, da amiran biyama vimru amen. Yehe shlama raba mitchemaya, vechayim aleno ve al kol Yisrael, vimru amen. O se shalom bimromav, huya a se shalom, aleno ve al kol Yisrael. Bimru, amen. May their memories always and only be for a blessing. Amen. And if you'd like to join me for our closing prayer, we thank you, O oh God, for our family and for what we mean and bring to one another. We are grateful for the bonds of loyalty and affection which sustain us and for the capacity to love and to care. Bless our family, our congregation, our country, and our people with health, happiness, and contentment. Above all, grant us the wisdom to build a joyous and peaceful home in which your spirit will always abide. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I lay under the moon and thank God I'm breathing. Then I pray, don't take me soon, cause I am here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for I've been praying for For the people to say That we don't want to fight no more There'll be no more wars And our children will play One day, one day, one day One day It's not about win or lose, cause we all lose when they feed on the souls of the innocent, blood drenched pavement, keep on moving or the water stay raging. In this maze you can lose your way, your way, it might drive you crazy but don't let it phase you, no way, no way. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. So when negativity surrounds, I know someday it'll all turn around because all my life I've been waiting for, I've been praying for, for the people to say that we don't want to fight no more, there'll be no more wars. And our children will play One day, one day, one day One day, one day, one day One day this all will change Treat people the same Stop with the violence Down with the hate One day we'll all be free And proud to be Under the same sun Singing songs of freedom Like why oh to say that we don't want to fight no more there'll be no more wars and our children will play one day one day one day one day one day one day who have
uh, candles. We'll go ahead and light the candles together and say the candle blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvotav V'tivanu Le'hadik Nev Le'hadik Nev also invite anyone who has a fruit of the vine to join me in the Kiddush. Baruch atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Boreh b'ri hagafen. Baruch atarunai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotam, Beratzabanu, B'shabat kocho, Be'ahavahu, Ratzoni inchilanu, Zikaron l'maaseh b'reshit, For those of you who've been watching every week, my husband made his fourth kala this week. I think you can see it. It's really pretty. This one does not have chocolate chips, but I'm still looking forward to tasting it, as I'm sure the kids are as well. And, um, and Lois, I do have to ask you a question at the end of this regarding we're using a different flower, which you had recommended. No one talked about that. <laughs> so, we'll begin with um, our mozi. So Grant, if you want to lead us, that'd be great. Ha motzi lechem in haaretz. We give thanks to God for bread. Our voices rise in song together as our joyful prayer is said. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz b'tei avon. 